The Super Bowl. It is the most anticipated matchup all season long for the NFL as all 32 teams battle it out all season long to see who will be crowned the number one team in the NFL. In Super Bowl 56, the LA Rams defeated the Cincinnati Bengals with a score of 23 to 20. However, that is not the topic of today's video. Today's video is about someone that played in that game and somebody that is being mocked by everyone on social media from fans to former teammates and to star players that he faced off against in the season. That person is Eli Apple. In today's video, I am going to be talking about how Eli Apple went from the number 10 pick in the 2016 NFL Draft after a great career at Ohio State to now being one of the most clowned on players in the NFL. Before I move on with the video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already as we are on the road to 10k. Now let's get into it. To start off this video, I am going to be talking about Eli Apple's high school career, where it all really started to take off. Now, in this video, I do not have any highlights or photos of Eli Apple in high school because everything of Eli Apple in high school, for some reason, although it was in the 2010s, is in some very, very bad definition that would not look good in a video format. Eli Apple attended Eastern High School in Voorhees, New Jersey, and he was a part of the 2013 recruiting class. According to the 24-7 Sports Composite Rankings, he was one of the top players in his class. He was a four-star, ranked as the number 52 player, number 7 cornerback, and the number 2 player in the state of New Jersey. And to no one's surprise, being a top player, he had top schools interested in him, like Ohio State, Alabama, Miami, Michigan, and Notre Dame, just to name a few. When it came down to make a decision, he would ultimately decide to be a Buckeye. He was a U.S. Army All-American coming out of high school, and he held a lot of great traits coming out that many people thought would translate well at the next level and thought he could possibly be the next great cornerback at Ohio State. To start off his career at Ohio State, he was not someone that played immediately. As a true freshman in 2013, Eli Apple redshirted and did not play in a single game, as that was before redshirts could play in four games in a season and could keep their redshirts. Back then, if you played in one game, you could not redshirt, and in this case, Eli Apple did not play in a single game and he redshirted. In 2014, however, he was all business as a redshirt freshman as he was a starting cornerback and one of the best defensive players on that stout Ohio State Buckeyes defense. As in that season, he played in 15 games. He had 53 total tackles, 5.5 tackles for loss, 3 interceptions, 10 pass deflections, 1 fumble recovery, and 1 forced fumble. And he was a huge part of that Ohio State National Championship winning team. Going into his redshirt sophomore season for 2015, Eli Apple was seen as one of the top DBs in college football, and some even thought he was going to win the Jim Thorpe Award. Honestly, he kind of took a step back from 2014 to 2015, but he was still a really good player. It's just that 2014 season he had was just really good. I mean, he was still a second team all Big Ten member in 2015, and he still put up some pretty good numbers, such as in 13 games played. He had 33 total tackles, two tackles for loss, one interception, and seven pass deflections. 2015 would be his final year as a Buckeye, as after the season, he would forgo the rest of his eligibility and declare his name for the 2016 NFL Draft, where he projected as a mid-first rounder. In the 2016 NFL Draft, Eli Apple was selected by the New York Giants with the 10th overall selection in the first round. As a rookie in 2016, Eli Apple would have a pretty big role as he started in 11 of the 14 games he played in and he had his fair share of ups and downs, but he wasn't bad for a rookie and he was pretty solid overall. He had 51 total tackles, 4 tackles for loss, 2 fumble recoveries, 1 forced fumble, 7 pass deflections, and 1 interception. The future did look bright for him, he did have his ups and downs, but he still had a lot of potential in him, and he was only a rookie. Although in his rookie year, it seemed like he had potential with the Giants, 
His time with the Giants, you would never see that full potential as he would only play one more full season with the Giants after his rookie campaign, which was in 2017, and he was traded after five games with them during 2018 to the Saints. His time in New York with the Giants can be summarized as disappointing as he was never consistent on the field, he had disciplinary issues with the team, and people in the locker room straight up didn't like him. Landon Collins even called him a cancer. Eli Apple would be in New Orleans for about two seasons as he was traded there during the 2018 season from the Giants and he actually had his best season of his career in 2018. Yes, his best year of his career was the year that he got traded and probably had the most issues with the Giants. He had 75 total tackles, 62 of them being solo. He had a total of two fumble recoveries, 14 pass deflections, two interceptions, and one forced fumble. After the 2019 NFL season with the Saints, the Saints would not bring him back and Eli Apple would officially be a free agent heading into the 2020 campaign. He would then go to a divisional rival of the Saints and join the Carolina Panthers. In his time in Carolina, it would be the shortest stint he had with an NFL team his entire career, as he signed a one-year deal but he didn't make it through the season. He was placed on injury reserve early on in the season with ankle and foot injuries and he would eventually be activated back to the active roster, but that wouldn't last very long as he was released during the middle of the season in October. After not being on a team for a while since the 2020 season when he was released by Carolina, he would find a new suitor in 2021 with the Cincinnati Bengals where he was a starting cornerback for them in this 2021 season. Eli Apple overall didn't have the worst season of his career by any means, but he still had his moments where he wasn't the best cornerback out there by any means at all. He had a solid year with 49 total tackles, one fumble recovery, and two interceptions, while also having 10 pass deflections and helping Cincinnati reach the Super Bowl. But Eli Apple had probably a performance that you do not want to be remembered for in the Super Bowl, which was having two touchdowns caught on your head and the game ceiling touchdown for the win for the Rams being caught on you, especially after having a defensive pass interference call the play before that. Now, Eli Apple is the most clowned on player in the NFL right now. And honestly, he's been kind of getting clowned on most of his career, mainly by fans, but this time on such a big stage, having so much bridges burnt and having so much beef built up over the years with former teammates, players he's played against, and all of that, you have a lot of NFL players clowning on Eli Apple as well. And if this was another player that was more respected, no NFL players are going to clown the guy and might even defend him. But since it's Eli Apple and some of the things Eli Apple has done in his career, Eli Apple is getting clowned on and he's getting clowned on bad. Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, drop something down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Eli Apple? And don't forget to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. Be Kelly out.